Good afternoon, my name is Patrick McGeehan. I'm a lawyer here in South Florida, and I am your best friend at your worst time. I come to you today from I-95. It's a miserable roadway that we have here in South Florida. It's several others, but I-95 takes the cake as far as miserable roadways. The congestion, the traffic, especially during rush hour, is just insane and unbearable. I try at all costs not to drive on I-95. I want to share an incident with you that happened a couple months ago. I was driving north on I-95 when a lane divider flew up and hit the side of my car, one of the big plastic poles that separate the express lanes from the rest of us. It dented and scratched the side of my car. I took it for an estimate and it was within a couple hundred dollars of my deductible on my insurance. It wasn't really worth making a deductible. So here's what I did and here's what you may want to consider too. I sent a notice of claim to the Florida Department of Transportation. Apparently there are several companies which maintain or have contracts with the Florida DOT to maintain and clean sections of I-95. They forwarded me to the company that had the contract for the location where I was, my car was damaged at. I sent them the claim. They settled the claim. Here's the information that I sent to them. I sent them a letter of claim basically saying that my car was damaged on a specific date and time. Notice the mile post you're at or the exit you're at and the direction you're going. For example, mine was at 125th Street Northwest, northbound on I-95. I went to have an estimate done at the dealer, the car dealer for which my car is manufactured by. When I spoke to the claims adjuster, he said that they almost always settle those claims that come from estimates from car dealers as opposed to independent shops. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's something to consider. If they say you need a police report, within five days, you have to make a police report. You could just walk into a desk. Sometimes you can just go by and pick up a copy and mail it into the state of Florida. But you can walk into one of the police station front desks and file out a police report of the jurisdiction in which the incident happened in. I sent that information to them. Within 30 days, they sent me a check settling the claim on my car. I also took a lot of pictures. I took a picture of each side of the car the undamaged side, showing that there was no damage, as well as the damaged side of the car, and then close-ups of the damage. It's overwhelming evidence to settle the claim within 30 days. If this information is helpful, please like and subscribe. And remember, my name is Patrick McGeehan, and I am your best friend at your worst time.